Hello, in this episode we're going to take a look at using Sortable with Hotwire. So um, we have this list of team members and we want to be able to drag and drop them in a list to order them. So um, we need to use a JavaScript library called Sortable.js and we want to hook that up with Hotwire and uh, have that save the order in our database. So we have our list here and it's just a normal UL with LI elements inside of it. And the first thing that we're going to need to do is install Rails Request JS and Sortable JS. So we'll go ahead and do that. The next thing we can do then is create a stimulus controller. So we can generate a stimulus controller called Sortable. And then when we open that, I have some code to paste in here. So um, this pulls in the put method from request.js and sortable and sets up a new sortable instance on the element that the root element that the stimulus controller is attached to. Um, we look for a handle, which is data sortable handle. So we have our uh, move.svg has that data sortable handle. So dragging that icon will move the items up and down in the list. Um, on disconnect, we destroy the sortable instance to clean everything up. And then on this on end event, this is whenever sortable, um, the drag and drop stops. So we grab an ID of the item and then we put to a URL in our application and pass the position param. So uh, we're gonna see if this controller, we'll go back to our HTML here and I am going to take a couple of uh, properties in here. So um, we'll add this code to our overall list. So this sets up the sortable controller and passes in our URL. So we use person path and for the ID, we use colon ID because we're not sure what that's gonna be yet. Uh, but in our um, sortable controller, we replace colon ID in the URL with the actual ID of the element and it gets that from this param here. So if we put this on our LI tag, um, we have our sortable ID and it's the ID of the person model. So this is all we need to start dragging and dropping um, undefined method person path. So we need to go into our roots and add resources, people only update and then reload. So now if we drag and drop, we can drag and drop items, but our network request to update those is going to be failing because uh, there is no action. We need to set that up next. So the next thing that we want to do is set up uh, an action. So first of all, let's go to our gem file and install the access list library and run bundle. Now that that's done, we'll restart our Rails server. And now we can go across to our person model and we can make it use the access list uh, library. And we'll say top of the list is position zero. So we'll see if that. Now we can come across to our people controller and we can add in an update method. And in here, I'm just gonna say person is person.find by params ID. And then we're gonna say person.insert at and I'm gonna say params position dot two int. And then I'm just gonna say head no content for this root because we don't really have a response. So we'll save that and come back and reload. And if I just clear out our network inspector now and we'll drag Emily up to position one, you can see now that uh, our code is responding with 200 okay. So if I reload this, Emily's still at the top. We'll drag Nate to the top, 
reload and this is all working. So that is a very simple approach to doing drag and drop sort with Hotwire. Um, I hope you find that interesting and if you want to see more content like this please subscribe.